Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Final Fantasy Prefecture's video. It's been a hot minute. Well, we've got actually double news because they dropped it today instead of yesterday, so... I was expecting something yesterday for JP, but nope. So, the first page never really tells you anything anymore. <laughs> As you can see here, it says detailed uh, description of bug fixes, and then there's no, there's no descriptions at all. And adding new categories when there was already a whole bunch, but okay. And uh, so yeah, let's move on. And now we're gonna get this is a, probably the weirdest, probably the weirdest um, event day in FFB, at least on the JP version, where they're doing three different uh, Final Fantasies all at once. So Final Fantasy one, two, and three are all, are getting events and units. So not sure what's up with that, but there is some interesting things happening, guys. So, while it might be weird for the Rita 3 characters that from three different Final Fantasies, there is some good news to be had from this. So, the first one is Warrior of Light, apparently, and Rosa in a new vision form. I like that pose. And then we also have Arku, Black Mage Arku. Doesn't look like a Black Mage, but okay. And finally, Finally, <laughs> finally, Warrior of Light 5 Star gets a Neo Vision Awakening, and I have so many of him that I can make him EX3 on day one easily. I've been saved, apparently, I've just been saving him so for so long. But also, Furion, he's no longer going to be just an S Tumor fodder yet. We don't, we don't know exactly how good it's going to be, but at least he's getting a Neo Vision Awakening. That's good. And, and also, Black Mage Ace is getting an Evolution Awakening. We'll see how good he is. Um, quite interesting. And then there's some vision cards here, who are probably just the standard vision cards that no one cares about, but we'll see. But, yep. So we have three... Wow, there's other characters besides War of Light in, in, the, in the Final Fantasy 1. Finally, right? Finally, we get someone else other than Garland in Final in, uh, War of Light, right? <laughs> Oh boy, finally right. All right for the global version. Also, there's some crowns and stuff coming to the Jeep version. I, I believe Fledging the Warrior is getting the crowns. Anyways, they're skipping Squall's banner, obviously, because Zack's banner is still online. So, this banner, I'm going to be straight up and say one of the worst banners ever of, of this year. Um... So, his STMR is very good. It's basically Tita's STMR on a materia instead of a close, but that's it. So if you care about this STMR, then you'll pull. If you do not care about this STMR, then you will not pull, especially since this doesn't work with um, morale LBs anyway, so most global players are probably won't even care about it. And soul strengths, aren't as good on global because he has some things that really are really good on JP, but on global I don't think anyone's going to care about it. Bolin is pretty good though. And he's pretty decent. Not amazing, but pretty decent. But if you just want a spoiler right away, just skip. This is just one of those skip weeks. And I'm pretty sure Squall or Collaboration will be coming next week, but there is uh, a live stream coming. So it could just be a global original anyways. Story event, you get one of these things here. You'll be able to, these are permanent by the way. You don't have to spend them right away. These are permanent. The ones with the green ones are permanent. So uh, if you have any questions about them, you can just save them. If, you, if you're not sure what you want to spend it on, just save. So there's that. Apologies for any significantly. I don't know if, I don't think I've done any yet, but my allergies are like, a million, like, level a million. So. Here's something for Reagan. If you care about pulling him, you get 500 flat attack. You get some other stuff. Cool. Also, Soul gets something. I've already forgotten about that. 500 ma magic and also 20% MP reduction or whatever. And what I didn't think was going to come to global was Fistless Upgrade. Does it help her? No. She's still bad. <laughs> She's still bad. Alright, well, finally, uh, Vlad gets his crowns. 
Or apparently he already had them, never mind. He already, apparently he already has them? I didn't even really notice. Because his, his, his crimes on Global, do I didn't really care about them? I don't know. These, these uh, video cards are terrible. Well, that one's terrible, but... Alright, let's talk about this one. So you might be tempted like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to have another situation like Dazzling Demonus again. Well, this one's not, this one's not even close to being as good as Dazzling Demonus in my opinion. Because this doesn't have the MP on it like Dazzling Demonus does. It does have 500 flat MP on the first level, but it, it lacks the MP that Dazzling Demonus had. So I think this is just tempting people to think that you're going to miss out on like another Dazzling Demonus-esque card, but you're not going to. The middle one is just, it's not worth it because you have to single cast it. So unless this is like 250% or even higher than that, then why would you, why would you waste a turn when you can have someone else give you human killer instead? While also being able to do other actions. And then the last one is like, the last one's really bad. Like you, if you're, if you are someone who wants to be an MP unit, like Genesis or Golbez, I believe you don't want to have M uh, reduced MP cost. So it's it's not good. It's not even like it's it's just okay on on someone on average. If you just want this on someone as a secondary damage dealer or something, but it's not as good as Dazzling Demonus for MP users. Just saying. And then there's gonna be a live stream. Does anyone? I want to say, does anyone care about these anymore? Because I I really feel like they need to bring in someone who actually knows how to conduct a live stream. No offense, but at this point, I think the sentiment that I'm, I'm bringing to the table is kind of valid at this point. Uh, they're losing viewers, and most times they're just saying things that they're either happen during the news cycle already that we knew about or just stuff that we pretty much expect like Squall or something but hopefully it'll be a global original that'll be interesting at least right but I think that they need to bring in people who actually either play the game or someone who knows how to conduct a live stream better because it's like bring it's like it's like a live it's like if if a brick wall made a live stream so and the only way to get the vision card, by the way, as well as doing the step up. So I think this is even a further deterrent to pull for this. Guys, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to be very annoying about it because you guys deserve to be talk. I, I, I need you to, to listen to me about this. There is so many good units coming, including Global Originals. This is an expensive step up. Look at all that lapis you have to spend to get to that vision card. And it's not even that good, in my opinion. You can disagree if you like, if you, if you like that vision card, I still think that it's not worth pulling for this. Getting a bunch of random Neovisions, you get those already. <laughs> you get random Neovisions already basically by getting a bunch of off banners when you pull. So why would, this is not even good anymore, this is not even tempting anymore. It shouldn't be. If you're tempted by this, this is, this is like an, uh, Interception. I don't know. I can't remember what the word is right now, but inner uh, inner something. Uh, please don't pull on this banner. I beg of you. There's Squall, Ace, Lightning, Global Originals, Anniversary. There is so much to, to worry about that you should not even be worrying about this. Please do not pull on this. Even if you're a whale, I I wouldn't. Even if I, back in my whale status, I wouldn't pull on this. The vision card is not tempting enough because the well, I don't know why they keep putting killers on it. Like it's not worth it unless it's like an insane amount of dan like a, a, it's three hundred percent or something. Maybe, maybe that would be tempting for some people, but whatever. Uh, half energy is actually kind of cool, but the bottom part is like a, it's is like a running meme at this point. Like they're running with the meme because who's who's even doing these anymore? Seriously, like even who cares if they're open all the time? Even new players wouldn't be running this anymore because you can just run the event. They can get much more gill and stuff like that. Like, it's a waste of energy, guys. It's a waste of energy. Thistleus, she does get a lot of changes, but it's still not enough. I, I just feel like you can't you can't help with this character unless she gets like eight times cap because she's just bad. 
because she's one of the first new visions in the game, so. The shop. Uh, you probably shouldn't pull on this at all, in my opinion. Like I said, guys, there's so, I'm going to keep saying it. There's so much stuff coming. This is a, definitely a skip week, so I'm not even going to recommend anything in there, so. And uh, Gaia Blade gets an upgrade as pretty decent attack, but not super amazing. It's, lo it's locked to Earth, but it's okay, I guess. 30% LB damage, but not too hard to get anymore. And then for some reason this gets an upgrade. No one's even using this, so whatever. And then probably one of the best login bonus titles of all time, Daddy of Darkness. Uh, probably one of the best login systems ever. But in terms of rewards, it's just copy and paste, what it always is. Alright, that's it. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about that vision card? You guys hate my opinion. Am I, am I, is, that a, is that a hot take? That the vision card is not really that amazing. It's just okay. But you have to go through that step up. And there's lots of other stuff to be pull There's lots of other stuff that you should be pulling on instead. And, or the or Lightning Vision Awakening. I'm, I'm going to put that in the title actually. Even if it doesn't get, you know, even if it doesn't attract attention. I'm just so happy about War of Lightning Vision Awakening 5 star. So, alright. I'll guys see you guys in the next video. Peace.